بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على سيد الخلق وأشرف المرسلين سيدنا وحبيبنا وعظيمنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ورض اللهم عنا معهم اللهم آمين وبعد فالسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Allah's most beloved creatures to him are Adam alayhis salam and his dhurriya. From Adam and his dhurriya, al-anbiya and al rusul are the chosen ones. They are the favored ones from the progeny of Adam alayhis salam. And the best among al-anbiya and al rusul are a special group of messengers referred to as Udul Azm, those of great determination among the Anbiya and the Rusul. They are in chronological order Nuh alayhi salam, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam, and finally our beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the seventh ayah of Surah Al-Ahzab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذْ أَخَذْنَا مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ مِثَاقَهُمْ وَمِنْكْ وَمِنْ نُوحٍ وَإِبْرَاهِيمٍ وَمُوسَى وَعِيسَى بِنِ مَرْيَمٍ وَأَخَذْنَا مِنْهُمْ مِثَاقًا غَلِيظًا Recall when we took from the messengers the covenant, and from you, and from Nuh, and from Ibrahim, and from Musa, and from Isa, the son of Maryam. And we took from them a very stringent covenant. This is one of two ayat where the five Ulul Azm, alayhim salatu wassalam, are mentioned by name together exclusively. Or the Prophet wasallam is being addressed, alayhi afdul salawati wa tamu taslim, and the other four are mentioned by name. I'll leave it as a task for you, insha'Allah, to find the second ayah in the Qur'an. Now, what we have to understand when we consider Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favoring some of his creatures over others, or favoring some of the children of Adam over others, is that it comes at a price. It is not out of complete um, injustice. It's not out of um, randomness. Rather, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses one of his slaves for a great station, for closeness to him subhanahu wa ta'ala, the sunnah of Allah jalla fi ula is that said slave is trialed and the closer he is or she is to the divine subhanahu wa ta'ala the more severe and the more strenuous the trial is upon them the most trialed of creatures is or are the messengers and the order still applies in terms of those who are closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are the most trialed what is also special about this group of messengers is the fact that they are starkly different. They are not a monolith in terms of their characters. Undoubtedly, they all come with one primordial message of unity, of divine oneness, yet the character differs and the mannerisms differ. We learn from an incredibly beautiful tradition the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he compares Umar and Abu Bakr radiallahu anhuma to Nuh and Musa and Ibrahim and Isa respectively. Umar's character is closer to Nuh's alayhi salam as well as Musa's whereas Abu Bakr's radiallahu anh is closer to Ibrahim and Isa alayhi salam. In what sense? This was after Badr where the Muslims had prisoners, had war prisoners. Abu Bakr's view was that they ought to be ransomed. Umar's view was that they ought to be killed by one from their own tribesmen, so, such that 
Asabiya is done away with, or tribalism. The point here is that those are two quite different approaches to a nazila, to a novel matter at the time for the believers. And at that moment, the beloved sallallahu alayhi wa considering those two views, recalled his predecessors in messengerhood, the four great ones who came before him, the Ulul Azm, to which he is a khatim and a seal, alayhi afdal salawati wa tamu taslim. The reason why we can find great solace in this is that we are not reaching for an ideal that is identical, meaning we are not trying all to be the same when it comes to our relationship with Allah. Allah knows you individually, by name, who your forefathers are, what you did, what you didn't do, what you would have done, how you would have done it, had you done it. Allah knows your deepest secrets. Allah knows you and everything about you just as much as he does about every one of his slaves, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is Al-Alim, Al-Khabir, Al-Latif. Your relationship with him, Jalla fi is unique. There is no one on the face of this earth who has worshipped Allah, who has devoted himself to him like you have. You must always remind yourself of that. The messengers, the best of creation, the Ulul Azm, were different. It is not therefore an expectation that those who seek closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and reach the maqam of ubudiyya are expected to be a monolith. It is not the divine's will that that be the case. Rather, he is, as we said, al-raqib and al-qarib and al-latif. He individually knows his slaves and he hears their call despite all of them calling upon him Jalla fi Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is yours just as much as you are his. Wallahu ta'ala a'lam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammadin walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.